ClassicGameRoom.com Lead your country to victory in one of the best games that you can buy for your PlayStation 3. This is Valkyria Chronicles. Valkyria Chronicles released in 2008 for the PlayStation 3. A challenging game to review because it defies reviewing. Why review something that's perfect? The only thing I can do is come up with new ways to say this game is awesome. Valkyria Chronicles is better than being eaten by a giraffe. Young love and tanks, how wonderful. Valkyria Chronicles is a tactical turn-based strategy game that defies the old school grid format and drops players onto the battlefield in real-time third-person style action. But don't confuse it with an action shooter, you're still carrying out your orders, you're just doing it in person so you can adjust your actions on the fly. You outfit your squad with several different soldier classes, all of which are very different, and you'll use them together to complete some very challenging missions in this tough yet unforgettable game. Sweet dreams. Valkyria Chronicles is the complete opposite of E.T. on the Atari 2600. While it may not look similar on the surface, this will appeal to those of you who dig games like Front Mission, Final Fantasy, Tactics, Fire Emblem, or Vandal Hearts. The flow of the game is really good, each of your pieces takes up one move except your tanks, which take two moves. So you'll use your scouts, missile launchers, engineers, snipers, and whatnot to defend positions or attack the enemy. In this alternate version of World War II. Here we go. The storyline is actually pretty complex, but to sum it up quickly, your main character is Welkin, and you're the militia fighting for a small country called Gallia, which is rich in ragnite ore, which is basically oil sandwiched between two superpowers. If Valkyria Chronicles were a woman, she would be Bride of Pinbot. Oh yeah. Yes! You prove yourself early, get a squad, inherit a tank, and then fight these uh, pseudo-Nazis in an alternate reality. While the storyline is very good and the characters have a nice amount of depth, it's the strategy and the action that'll keep you hooked. Which is good because Valkyria Chronicles is a sizable, lengthy game. A giant RPG that will test your strategy skills. It's not one of these games where you level up and the enemies just kind of evenly level up with you so it always stays the same. The designers found new and creative ways to test you in each battle. So it's not about how strong your characters are, it's more about your experience as a capable and maybe moderately competent commander. Because it's quite easy to lose all of your soldiers in battle, and uh, you, you can lose them permanently. It's reported that both Robocop and Conan the Barbarian enjoy Valkyria Chronicles. Thank you. Thank you for honoring Fritz as you did. You select these soldiers that go into your squad and fight with them through the game so at least I became attached to them, so when, when one of them would get taken out in battle, which will happen, if you can reach them with one of your other troops or run over them with your tank, they'll be saved. And that made me feel good, because I do have a heart. I ripped it out of a unicorn. Valkyria Chronicles is like ice cream. And you can't say anything bad about ice cream. Do not piss off a group of ladies with rifles. The scouts are probably the most versatile troops. They can run the farthest. You have your lancers or your missile launcher guys, which are good for taking out tanks. Snipers, soldiers, engineers. There's many different ways that you can win battles. There's not one specific thing you're always supposed to do. Winning battles gets you experience and cash that you can use to upgrade all of your weapons, your tanks, and your troops as well as unlocking new storyline sequences. I like the artistic style they took with the game. The path leading up there is narrow. 
It's not trying to be overly realistic or anything, it just has a nice comic book feel about it. Enemy spotted. The more time you spend in it, the more you'll become acquainted with the enemy forces and what you can and can't do. Don't charge tanks with troops, don't run up on machine gunners, but snipers and scouts are pretty weak. So when you get a chance, get rid of them. Playing Valkyria Chronicles reminds me of that time I seduced a space mermaid with my Atari collection. Really? Be because I don't remember that. Sounds cool though. Hey, this game was sent to the show by my friend all the way across the ocean and through time and space, Bo from Copenhagen, Denmark. Bo knows awesome games. It's frequently tough to get your Edelweiss up to where you can blow up some enemy troops, but when you, when you do, it's so rewarding to see them fly across the screen. And know it's payback time after they've probably eliminated three or four of your squad. Now I'm not giving away spoilers or showing the last couple battles here, but it's a game worth playing from start to finish. Just make sure you have some time to spend in Valkyria. Chronicles. There's a lot of cutscenes, and you may want to play some of the practice battles to level up and earn some extra cash to put into your weapons and tanks. It's got a nice compelling storyline, good characters, and fantastic strategy action. There's two sequels, Valkyria Chronicles 2 on the PSP has a western release. I don't think the third one does. And yes, I already bought Valkyria Chronicles 2 because I need more. MORE! So thanks again to Bo from Denmark, I highly, highly, highly recommend this game for everyone. Saying that Valkyria Chronicles is good is like calling Kit from Knight Rider a nice ride. It's an understatement. This game can turbo jump awesomeness.